Hello everyone, my name is Umed Meel. In this video, we are going to learn about the packet capturing of NMAP scan using Wireshark into a network. This may also help you to detect if someone running anonymous NMAP scan into your local network. NMAP is used to discover hosts and services on a computer network by sending packets and analyzing the responses. Normally a web pen tester does not know that how NMAP scan works and how hand shaking process works. But once you capture packets while running NMAP scan, you will get exact idea that how NMAP scan and hand shaking process works. So in this video, basically we will do six types of NMAP scan and capture NMAP scanning packets using Wireshark. Here we will also discuss the scanning process of closed ports as well. So let's start with TCP scan. TCP is a three-way handshake. That means first source will send and SYN packet to the destination. Then destination will revert with SYN and ACK packet. Again source will send ACK packet to the destination. So for the TCP scan and map hyper s TCP port for the TCP port uh, for an example I am taking the port number 21 and my target is 192.168.1.104 Before starting the scan let me just start the Wireshark to capture the packets on the Ethernet 0 so start the packet capturing now scan completed and you can see port number 21 TCP is open. Now move back to the uh, Wireshark. First stop the scan. Apply filter IP.ADDR equals to equals to. That is my target IP 192.168.1.104. Here we go. Now you can see my source IP 103 send a SYN packet to the uh, destination. Then Des now then destination send a packet to my source IP 103 with the SYN and ACK again source my IP 103 send to the targeted IP with the uh, ACK flag or a uh, packet you can see that practically uh, that how NMAP works the next is TCP scan for closed port in this process source will send a SYN packet to the destination and destination revert with RS3 and ACK packet so nmap hyphen s tcp uh, hyphen 4 that is uh, 3389 for the rdp so uh, this is a uh, closed port on the targeted machine or server 192.168.1.104 for starting let's start the wireshark this is a closed port apply a filter ip.addr uh, that is my target ip source IP that is my IP send a SYN packet to the destination then destination revert with RST and ACK packet so practically it is clear that how uh, NMAP scan works for the closed port now the next is UDP scan for open ports in this process source send some UDP packet to the destination destination revert with UDP and some data to the source and map hyphen s u for udp hyphen p uh, that is port number 53 com very common for uh, udp purpose and then target ip 192.168.1.104 before starting the scan let's uh, start the wireshark the port is open stop this capturing and apply the filter ip dot addr equals to my target ip first source send the uh, udp packet to the destination then destination uh, reverted with uh, UDP packet and some data to the source. The next is UDP scan for closed ports. In this process, source sent UDP packets to the destination and destination re uh, replied with ICMP port unreachable. NMAF hyphen S UDP port uh, 161 192.168 1.104 before starting that let's start the packet capturing through the wireshark 
Yes. This port is closed on uh, targeted machine or server. Stop the packet capturing. Apply the same filter. Here you can see first source sent UDP packet to the destination and destination reverted to the source that destination unreachable, port unreachable. That means this particular port is closed on the targeted machine or server. Now the next is still scan for open ports. This is a very common and famous scanning process because it, it takes very less time to scan the ports like a thousand port per second. The only difference between TCP and still scan is that still scan does not send any uh, X flag on the third phase to the destination. So let's see this process practically. NMAP hyphen S for still scanning uh, for still port that is uh, normally as an uh, uh, TCP port so port number 22 uh, target 192.168.1.104 before starting that let's start YSR scan port is open now stop the capturing apply the filter yeah now here you can see First source sent a packet to the destination sin packet. Then destination replied to the source with sin and egg flag. And finally source sent a reset or RST flag to the destination. So there is no egg flag from the source to destination. Sometimes uh, this process is also called as half open scan. Next is still scan for closed port. In this process, source send a SYN packet to the destination. Destination revert with RST and ACK packet. Let's see the process practically. NMAP-S port uh, for an example 3389-192.168.1.104. Before starting that, let's start Wireshark. Port is closed. Stop the packet capturing. Apply filter. So, now you can see uh, source 103 send a TCP packet to the destination with the SYN packet, that is SYN packet, source then destination replied to the source with RS3 and X flag or packet. So, this is clear that how uh, NMAP scan or still scan works for the closed port. Now, the next is fin scan for open ports. In the fin scan, source sent fin packets to the destination. And if the port is open on destination, then destination will revert nothing to the source. NMAP hyphen for fin scan port 22 target 192.168.1.104. Before starting that, let's start YSR. Port is open. Stop the capturing. Apply the filter. Yeah, here you can see that source sent packets to the destination regularly with the fin packets, but here is no response that we are getting from destination. As you can see, very clear in the packets. The packet sending order is uh, very clear that source sent packets to destination only. There is no record or uh, no packet received from the destination. The next is fin scan for closed ports. In this process, source send a fin packet to the destination. If the port is closed, then destination revert with RST and egg packet to the source. Let's see the process practically. NMAP fin scan port 3389 target. Let's start the wise arc. Port is closed. First, stop the capturing. Apply the filter. Yeah, now you can see that the normal process the first source send packets to the destination of the fin packet. In the, re in the reply, destination reverted back to the source with RST and X flag. That means the scanned or targeted port is closed on the machine or server. The next one is null scan for open ports. In this process, source sent some uh, null packets to the destination and there will be no flag set between source and destination. So destination discard all the uh, packets received and will send no reply 
to the source that means the targeted port is open on this destination and map hyphen for null scan uh, port is 22 target uh, before that let's start the voice arc port is open apply the filter now here you can see that source sent some packets uh, null packets to the uh, destination but there is no reply from the destination to the source that means the targeted port is open the next is null scan for closed ports if source sends some null packets to the destination and in reply if source get rst and act packets from the destination that means targeted port is closed and map for null scan port 3389 sorry 3389 target before that start the wise port is closed stop the packet capturing and apply the filter now here you can see that first source sends some null packets to the destination and in reply destination send rst and act packets to the destination that means the targeted port is closed next is xmas scan for open ports it's sending several packets to the destination so source sent fin post or urg packets to the destination if the port is open on destination then destination will revert nothing to the source so that in uh, in that situation we can assume that uh, targeted port is open and map iphone uh, christmas scan port that is 22 target is 192.168.1.104 and let's start wireshark now the targeted port is open let's stop the uh, packet capturing and apply the filter IP.addr for the targeted IP. Here you can see that there is uh, uh, no reply from the destination to the source that means targeted port is open. First, source sent some fin post and URG packets to the destination and again the sequence is very same that source is sending something or uh, some packets to the destination but there is no reply from destination to the source that means uh, the targeted port is open now the next is xmas scan for closed ports as per previous if the targeted port is closed then destination will revert with rst and ag packets to the source now nmap scan port that is uh, 3389 target is 192.168.1.104 before that let's start wireshark yeah, targeted port is closed move to the wireshark stop the packet capturing and apply the filter here you can see that first source that is my ip address sends some packets that is fin post and urg packets to the destination and if the port is closed then destination that is 104 replied to me back with rst and egg flags or packets so these are the basic concept and the scan of nmap that we have intercepted through the wireshark and uh, practically analyze that how nmap scan works how uh, handshaking process works thanks for watching the video